A former CPS student is bravely sharing her story tonight in hopes of helping others. The woman says she was sexually abused for years by the dean of her high school. That man is now facing criminal sexual assault charges. In a story you'll see only on two, she spoke to our Charlie DeMar. Charlie, she claims the school district did not protect her. Joe and Erica, good evening. That former CPS student and survivor says she lived in silence for years, fearing what the dean of her high school may do to her. And she says when she finally did speak up and tell a teacher, nothing was done. It took a lot from me. I don't know. I just felt like I could not have a normal life. This former Chicago Public School student says she was sexually abused from 2013 to 2016 by Brian Crowder, the dean of the Greater Lawndale School for Social Justice. I didn't really get to experience high school how I wanted to. In some ways, do you feel that your youth, your high school years were stripped away from you? Yeah, I didn't do a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do because of it. Crowder was charged with criminal sexual assault in 2022. Now, a new civil lawsuit accuses, among others, the Board of Education of failing one of its former students identified in the complaint as Jane Doe. The system here failed her twice. It failed her because the dean was preying on her and, and sexually abused her, but it also failed her because uh, she did go to a teacher who didn't report it. Martin Gold and Mike Greco are Jane Doe's attorneys. They say after two abortions, Jane Doe told a teacher about the sexual abuse, but it was allegedly never reported to DCFS. Had the teacher done what she was required to do by the law, perhaps some of the pain that Jane Doe went through could have ended much earlier. I became pregnant again a second time, and that's when I went to the teacher. She should have spoke up and said something about it. Now, Jane Doe is sharing her trauma, she says, in the hopes of reaching a teenager who may find themselves in a similar situation. I don't want them to ever feel how I felt. You can go to someone, you can speak to someone, and you should. And CPS declined to comment on pending litigation. They say back in 2018, they made it easier for students to report sexual abuse. Crowder resigned from his position. As for his criminal case, it's still pending. Reporting live from Chicago Public Schools headquarters, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica. Charlie, thank you.